Welcome back to the MARZ Stadium. This is the City Cell Series, Bangladesh versus Zimbabwe. And uh, players are having lunch, just about to come out after the lunch break, with Zimbabwe struggling at 133 for six. Fair amount of crowd here. They've been treated to some absorbing cricket. That's the card for you for Zimbabwe. That's the Canary 20, Rogers 0, Sabanda 0. Nasakadza offered assist, uh, resistance with Taylor, 56 to him. He was cotton ball, Huck Jr. Now look, at, look out for Huck Jr. He is the man for Bangladesh. Three wickets today for him. He had one yesterday. 17 overs, four maidens, four for 31. He's bowled exceedingly well. And Mohammad Rafiq, not amongst the wickets. It's an absolute reversal of the first innings for the two spinners. So that's how the game looks. Looks very much like Bangladesh just have to bide their time and the victory will come their way. And what an important one it would be to be their first one. Zimbabwe still trail by 247 runs and need somewhat, something of a Houdini act in order to get away from this. There they go, the crowd going wild. Today we are hungry for wickets. I dare say today we are hungry for history because that's what's happening here. They're looking forward to it. They know what's happening. Very knowledgeable crowd. They know exactly what's going on. They've come well healed with their drums and all the other instruments that they can use to celebrate. Just take a look at those drums there. And if not for the fact that Shigambura and Masakata are in a bit of a problem, I'm sure they would have put up a great show with these drums as well. The wickets to fall, three today for Zimbabwe, all of them to Enamul Haq Jr. Oh, no! the first to go, Brendan Taylor, a judge LBW not offering a shot. He was playing a fabulous innings till then. That changed everything for Zimbabwe. And after a long, long stint of resistance, then the captain, Tatenda Taibu, who was absolutely disgusted with himself after playing that shot, Trying so hard to be defensive, trying to make sure he kills the spin, shows the wrong option going on to the leg side. Having better serve, going with a straight back. Then, man who looks in absolutely no trouble, Hamilton Masakaza, Perez caught and bowled because the ball was much straighter. Better ploy from Enamel Hutt Jr. Wonderful performance by Inamul Haq Jr. Will the test make a history? Well, that's what they're endeavoring to do. Well, history will be. All of them here hoping for that elusive test win. It will be a while coming. It's not easy for a team. As we did here, Dev Botmo say, that when you lose, no matter if you're losing to uh, you know, much better opposition. It's very difficult to believe in yourselves. But Bangladesh have gone into this match believing that they can win. There was pressure on them. They've handled it well, won a good toss, and since then they've rarely put a foot wrong. Zimbabwe have been chasing their tail since the start of the game. Great fight in the first thing, but the second time round they are in deep trouble. Still two sessions to go. Alvin Shikambura, 5 of 32, one boundary there, and with him and Kala. So these two have to not only bat out this session, they've got to bat out the next as well. First ball of lunch. There is a slip, gully, a city point, a short leg. And that's generally what's going to be the field set for Inamul Hart Jr. He's on top. He's got four wickets, his best performance of his career. Scott and he smashed that through the cover. That's four. The feature of Elton Chikumbura's game. He likes to hit the ball off to the boundary. He hasn't had the opportunity today. That's his second boundary. Was quiet for a very long time. Getting off the mark of about 30 balls. Straight after lunch, gets an opportunity, puts it away. Important that they do that, the Zimbabweans. Whenever the opportunity arises, they get 
have to put the bad yeah. ball away because there'll be many more balls like that in a good area testing and able to get a wicket slipped in the latter trajectory a quick arm ball almost succeeded Chikumbara going on the back foot playing the trajectory rather than the length oh! the serve coming forward that's correct Took that front foot forward. Don't poke at the deliveries. Let them come to you. But unless it's short or it's outside the off stump, it's best that you play them on the front foot. There have been a few that have probably landed on those cracks and deviated radically. Luleki and Kala. Been there for 12 minutes, 12 deliveries. Two runs. Short, but can't quite get to grips with that shot. End of the over, Zimbabwe 138 for six. Well, there you are, um, sights of Chittagong. It's a bustling city, lots of traffic. Very picturesque, lovely green hillsides. That's Mashrafi Murtaza, who will be bowling from this Bahani end, which is the commentary end. And he will be bowling to Chittagong. He's been also very impressive. Change in strategy. They've tried to keep it very straight and hitting the stumps. They're looking for that LBW of bold. The fielder are coming out of Gully. And he's gone. No, he isn't. He's just gone to have a word with the umpire. There's no third man. So they need that Gully fielder. That's where he's going, Habibul Bashar. The first R belongs to Zimbabwe. They didn't lose a wicket. Whoopsie, well bowled. That one moved away off the seam. In the second hour, they lost three, all to Inamul Haq Jr. It appeared that they had done all the hard work, but then the next hour is what they had to reckon with. Shafi Montana brought back into the attack after lunch and starting well. So that is important for the Bangladeshis, there's, there's lots of balls in good areas. To try and rush things, they have to be patient. Whoops, that was almost taken. This firmly struck. The short cover fielder got a hand to it, played straight to him. Couldn't quite hold on, but the rec ricochet almost reached the cover. Would have been an extraordinary dismissal. Short of a link. Chikumbura goes on the back foot, smashes it. And there's a short cover just in front of him. It's uppish. He gets a hand to it. And it nearly carries to the man who's that extra cover. There you go. Nearly gets there. That short cover is far too close to the batsman to really be able to take that. And he's also too far away to take a bat pad. That's Rajan Saleh. The man in your picture. He made a good attempt. Now that was hit very firmly to him. Off the back foot. Got a hand to it. And then it bounced off his palm or fingers. Almost made it to covers. The first hour that I was referring to yielded 66 runs. And mind you, the first half hour, just about four or six. 
the second half part of today was very eventful as far as runs were concerned. Huge amount of runs came for Zimbabwe. So the first hour, 66, but the second half hour of that first hour was what Zimbabwe, when they really turned on the heat. And after drinks, they suddenly sort of fell away. Losing three wickets for 21 runs. It's 138 for six. Six wickets down. So they're really up against it. They can't afford to lose another wicket, at least not in this session. 